Hello, it's Jolene here. So for this month's video, I thought I might do a vlog to share with you how I built this music workstation desk from scratch. Um, I really like it so far. And I've also prepared a PDF file that contains all the information about the, the measurement of the different components of the desk and what materials they are and where I got them from. So if you find that sort of information will help you if you want to build your own desk, please stay till the end to find out how to get that PDF file. Thank you, let's get started. When you design your desk, think about what you actually need it for. I wanted to have at least two monitors so the desk will have to be quite long. I like to have a tray for my keyboard because I don't use a keyboard every time I work at the desk. So I had to think about the width of the desk and the tray and the height of the tray. No doubt what you need to buy and the estimated measurements for all the components. If you have put together a list of things that you need, this step should be relatively straightforward. But it's physically exhausting, so I recommend you do it with another person. Find the wood panels that are thick enough to handle your heavy gears. Make sure you go to a warehouse that offers cutting services so you can customize your wood panels. Now here comes the fun part. I started with measuring everything and putting all the components on top of each other just to have a general idea of where everything could be at. And then started building the tray, which I think was the most important part of this design. To do that, I screwed the slides to the wood blocks that serves as the walls that connects the desktop and the tray. Make sure you measure it carefully so there is enough space to put in your keyboard. I then screw the tray in, and as you can see, the slides are actually longer than the tray. This is because my desktop is actually quite deep, so I want to be able to slide the tray all the way out and in, so there will be enough space uh, for my legs to put under the desktop when I don't need to use a keyboard. The next step is building in these angle brackets and as you can see I did not align them perfectly. I thought this might help distribute the weight of the tray and the keyboard on top of it. So when you build that, make sure you uh, keep bear in mind that you want to have enough space for your legs when you don't use the keyboard. And then you just um, build the legs in and that's pretty much it. And as you can see, the most important part is measurement. The rest is just making holes and putting screws in. So here is the desk in its completed form. And you can see the keyboard tray here. You can pull it out like this. And it's pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy with it. And there's enough, there's enough um, space between the keyboard and the bottom of the desktop um, and you can see that on the side um, I I remember I put two screws in to the board and I actually used the long screws for this side of the tray um, that's just to for to, to provide more support um, into the tray um, but I think on the other side, I used one of the screws was uh, the screw from the original package from the slides. Um, I think it was this one. You can see it's slightly different from the other one. Um, I think this is pretty short and as you can see, it's a little bit wobbly here. So at some stage, I think I will replace this one, this screw here. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the slides and the tray. Um, the other thing that's not quite perfect is you can see the block here, the supporting block. Um, they stick out a little, which I don't actually mind. Um, but if you don't like this sort of aesthetics, then you can just move the blocks forward a little as long as there is enough space um, for you to put your legs in. Yeah, but other than that and the screw on this tray that I eventually will replace, um, I'm pretty happy with this desk. So that's pretty much it. And there is a PDF file that contains all the data of the exact measurements 
and the materials I actually used for this particular desk. And if you think that sort of information is helpful for you, there are two ways to get this PDF file. Firstly, you can download it from my website, which I've linked below for less than $4. Um, it will help me um, cover some costs that I did my research and design the desk and also help me run my website and create more quality videos that will bring value to you and others. And for the other way, um, if you like my music, feel free to check out my Spotify and YouTube music channels and share one of my tracks on your social media platform and then tell people what you like about it. And if you take a screenshot and send it to my email, which is jolene at jolinejian.com, I'll send you a free copy of this PDF file. So thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. See you next time.